going to treat my wife's car, uh, at least the windscreen, with something new and something very effective. Uh, here in Sweden, where we live in Scandinavia, we have a lot of uh, rain, uh, a lot of darkness uh, in the autumn and the winter months. So we have a problem with sight, and uh, this is going to help that. Uh, this is a product from Turtle Wax called Clear View or Rain Clear. Uh, a bird has told me, uh, uh, tweeted me, that uh, this product is uh, identical to Rain X, that is very popular in uh, the rest of Europe and especially in the UK. Uh, it's exactly the same contents inside. So, what we're going to do first is to uh, clean uh, the windscreen. And I just, I just to use an uh, ordinary glass cleaner, you can use anything you want to, it doesn't matter really. As you can see, my wife's car is pretty dirty, so... And also you can see uh, blue tape across the windscreen. And what that is going to do is illustrate the effects of the product. I don't know if you can tell by the film, but it started actually to drip, so it starts to rain right now. But we will do this anyway. So that's enough. You can use anything to apply the product, it doesn't matter, even if it says stuff on the back side of the instructions. It doesn't smell too nice, it's uh, like tin spirit or something. Very, very rapidly evaporating. So I use a pretty big chunk, as you can see. And I use it on the entire screen. The thing with most of these products is that it's usually rather easy to apply. Uh, but on the more long-lasting products, it's a pain to remove them and clear the windscreen to make it clear again. This one, however, is rather easy or very easy compared to others to actually get off. So now I think we managed to cover the whole area. Now we just wait. And if you come over here, you can look at this side. You can see that the entire windshield now is a bit hazed with the product. And that's the whole purpose of it. And now is a very important step. You have to do this twice. You can stand over there again. Yeah. So this is what makes it rain repellent or hydrophobic. It's the second layer. And... Uh, I use it actually not only on the windscreen but on the side screens and uh, on the back as well. Everything glass. Uh, because here in Sweden when, it, when the frost and the, the snow starts, if you use this uh, hydrophobic stuff, you will have a much easier job in the morning when you get out at uh, 7 or 8 in the morning and try to make your windscreen ice free. Because the ice won't stick very much to this when you have treated your windscreen with this. So, second layer, same procedure. As you can see, it doesn't take too much time to do this. And as you can also see, I used too much. But that's okay, because it's rather cheap compared to other compounds. Make sure that you don't get it on the paintwork. If you get it on the plastic, it doesn't leave white residue like wax, but it still leaves some marks. But on this car, I I don't care very much. So that's pretty much it.
Testa se om ni kan filma när det har blivit så ni kan se någon skillnad på. I use lukewarm water to take off the worst. It doesn't get hyper hydrophobic, uh, like some compounds get so hydrophobic that the, these ones don't even work anymore, they just skip, but with this one they still work and the ring still goes off. As long as you drive over 50 miles per hour or 70 kilometers per hour, the ring just drips off and then you basically don't need these anymore. With slow speeds you will still need them but not as much as you do before, did before. And if you go at high speeds, well, then you can use them if you want to. But uh, you can see when uh, other people's cars had the windscreen wipers on at full speed, you don't even need them at all. Now, because it's a bit dark, damp and a bit rain in the air, it makes the work a bit harder to do, but if you do it on a dry day, somewhere where you live, I suppose, then it's no problem at all. I don't know if you can do it in full sunlight, but you can experiment with that as much as you want. Okay, I'll finish up with, off with uh, paper. Gingerbread paper, the best kind. And when you use some other products, you can stand here for two or three hours and have a real nice workout. But this one, it usually takes a couple of minutes like this and then you're done. What you want is a clear screen. If nothing else, the, the, the windscreen gets a good cleaning job. And my wife will be happy just because of that. And when she sees that it's a rain repellent, she will be ecstatic, I hope. Okay, so let's go for the test. We're going to splash a bucket of water on this and see if that actually works. What will you saw? So on the left side is a non-treated windscreen. On the right side you have seen us uh, treat it as good as you can. Are you ready? One, yes. two, three. You can see the effect on the right side, just falls off. And when you're going at speed, it will just... And uh, the effects last around 4 to 10 weeks. But every time you reapply it, it will get better and better every time the effect. So I wouldn't drive here in the Scandinavian countries without it. It's very good. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for this. And thank you for watching.